On August 12th, a Maltese military helicopter spotted Mohamed Adam Oga, an Ethiopian man slumped over the body of another man, the last of the group to die in a journey that Mohamed said lasted 11 days. The vast expanse of the Mediterranean Sea is a shimmering path for some, a treacherous graveyard for many. Today, we meet Mohammed Adam Oga, or Mohammed Usman Abraham as his family knew him, an Ethiopian man whose story embodies the struggles and heartbreak of countless souls who dared to dream of a better life across its waters. Mohammed's journey began in Bedessa, a city in Ethiopia's East Hararga region. Life wasn't easy. The shadow of the Ethio-Eritrean War loomed large over his youth. This conflict likely pushed Muhammad to join the Ethiopian army. Serving in the military would have exposed him to the harsh realities of combat, violence, and the fragility of life. But the war wasn't a clear-cut path for Muhammad. Fighting alongside the OLF would have exposed him to a different ideology and potentially new dangers. Ultimately, Muhammad decided to leave Ethiopia altogether, seeking refuge in Sudan. But even in Sudan, news from friends in Germany sparked a yearning in Muhammad's heart, a dream of a better future in Europe. But the path wouldn't be paved with gold. He ended up in Libya, facing hardship just to reach the coast. There, he befriended a Somali man named Ismail, and together fueled by hope, they entrusted their lives to a smuggler. The smuggler's promise of a direct route to Malta with a compass seemed like a lifeline. Little did they know, this seemingly small boat carried the dreams of 15 people, including a pregnant woman. Mohammed, his friend Ismail, and 13 others, each paying a hefty sum of $700, set sail with hope flickering in their hearts. Mohammed, having served in the military, likely understood the dangers of war. However, nothing could have prepared him for the sheer brutality of their journey. The compass failed, their fuel ran out, and the scorching sun beat down mercilessly. Days bled into nights, their supplies dwindled, and the roar of the sea became a constant reminder of their precarious situation. Merchant ships and helicopters, glimmers of hope, passed them by, unable to offer aid. Despair began to creep in. Driven to the brink, some resorted to drinking seawater, a deadly mistake that claimed the lives of two. One by one, their companions succumbed to hunger, thirst, and the harsh elements. Mohammed drawing on his past experiences, new seawater was not the answer. Days turned into a nightmare. Dehydration, starvation, and the ever-present threat of sharks took their toll. Some, unable to bear the suffering any longer, chose to throw themselves overboard. By the eleventh day, only three remained. Mohammed and his friend clinging to life by a thread. Driven to the edge, they made a decision fueled by desperation. To survive, they had to eat the flesh of the deceased. Yet, even this act of ultimate survival wasn't enough. Muhammad's friend and the other survivors succumbed to their plight. Alone, adrift, and on the verge of giving up, a sound pierced the suffocating silence, the whirring blades of a helicopter. It was a night Muhammad would never forget. He was pulled onto the aircraft, a beacon of hope in the vast darkness. Muhammad was severely dehydrated and on the brink of death. Miraculously, he pulled through in a hospital on the island of Malta. His story, a testament to both incredible resilience and unimaginable hardship, has been met with disbelief by some. But Muhammad's tale is a stark reminder of the true cost of irregular migration. Many simply don't believe the horrors he describes. They label his story a movie, a fabrication, but Muhammad's experience is far from unique. Countless others have perished on this treacherous journey, their stories lost to the unforgiving sea. After recovering in Malta, Muhammad eventually found himself in France, a new chapter in his life. His story isn't just about him, it's about the countless others who never made it. It's a cautionary tale for those contemplating a similar path. If you know someone contemplating this dangerous journey, share this video with them. Together, we can make a difference.